The goddess Hera hated Hercules for being born of her husband's adultery, so she struck him with the temporary curse of madness. As a result, Hercules killed his wife and children. Consumed by grief, Hercules sought out the Oracle of Delphi, who told him that the path to atonement lay with his cousin, King Eurystheus. Eurystheus hoped to humiliate Hercules with ten impossible tasks that pitted him against invincible monsters. These became known as the labours of Hercules. The first labour was to slay the Nemean lion, who kidnapped women and devoured warriors. Its golden fur was impervious to arrows, but Hercules cornered the lion in its dark cave, stunned it with a club, and strangled it with its bare hands. There was no tool sharp enough to skin the lion until the goddess Athena suggested using one of its own claws. Hercules returned to Eurystheus wearing the lion's hide, frightening the king Eurystheus so much he hid in a wine jar. From then on, Hercules was ordered to present his trophies at a safe distance. Subsequent labours included slaying a hydra, hunting a single deer for one year, stealing a herd of magical red cattle from a giant with three heads. Hercules had completed his ten labours. Eurystheus had claimed that two did not count because he had accepted help in achieving them. So Eurystheus created two additional labours. One, to obtain gold and sacred apples, and two, bring back a three-headed hound Cerberus who guarded the underworld. Once Hercules had completed his last task, Eurystheus declared Hercules' service complete. After 12 years of pain, suffering and toil, Hercules had redeemed the tragic deaths of his family and earned a place in the Pantheon. Through his labours, Hercules tamed the world's madness by atoning for his own. This is what we can learn from Hercules. Practically, this means to me, set your house in perfect order before you criticise the world. You see, Hercules, his house was not in order. His life was in disarray. He had been cursed by madness, he had killed his family, and instead of criticizing the world, instead of blaming his situation, admonishing those around him, instead of being consumed by darkness and grief and horror and suffering and terror and seeking revenge against the goddess Hera, he seeked guidance from an oracle. Not unlike people seek guidance from our own oracles of today. Jordan Peterson will struggle to admit this, but he is an oracle for many. So people look to him, people like him as an oracle and we seek guidance from, from people like him. So what that is saying is that you don't need a goddess or a god, or to be a god, or the son of Zeus, to clean your room and set your house in perfect order. Instead of looking around you and cursing the world around you, seek guidance from those you respect, as Hercules did in the Oracle of Delphi, and then pay for your sins. Pay for the path to atonement. And the path of atonement lay through suffering, Pain. And Hercules case, 12 impossible tasks that pitted him against invincible monsters. While there are no mythological invincible monsters here today, there are metaphorical invincible monsters that people create for themselves. People manifest their own monsters. They create their own barriers and, and blocks and set themselves up to be prisoners of their own minds. And so that becomes the invincible monster. So can you go to war with yourself? In the same way Hercules accomplished and maneuvered through 12 impossible labours, can you get through your own set of impossible labours? And this could be as simple, and this is actually represented rather, this is symbolised by setting your house in perfect order. The impossible labour for you could mean Cleaning up the mess of a room that you have. Getting one item each day that is on the floor, one piece of chaos that is on the floor each day and putting it away. Or it could mean smiling at somebody on the street one time per day. 
because you're miserable and you're not happy with your life and you're depressed and you're anxious and you don't know what to do about it and you don't know how you can be better and it seems so overwhelming and you seem feel so consumed by the darkness of the world around you so you decide to do one piece of good every day one just small the smallest piece of good you can find and you walk through that it could mean having a hard conversation with somebody with somebody someone you're in a relationship with not letting mediocrity not standing for mediocrity in a relationship it's so easy to let things pass and I've done this before you could it's so easy to let the difficult conversation not be had but you have to have the difficult conversation because that's where growth happens that's where your labor is housed and by getting through that that's how you can set your house in perfect order your life in order everyone has their version of the labor it could mean it could mean for example for myself setting my house in perfect order means suffering it means physically going through physical suffering it means doing what i say i'm going to do and do it every weekend i run hills it's not fun it's painful in fact it's some of the most painful physical endurement that i've had in years but i love it and i relish it because i need it i need to build calluses in my mind and those calluses in my mind help build the foundation to set my life in order because if i don't do what i say i'm going to do then i can't set my life in order i can't set my house in order i suffer and then the people around me suffer if i think the temporary suffering i'm going to do by 15 20 minutes of running up hills is hard imagine a whole life imagine weeks and months and years on end of of knowing that your life could have been so much better and so this is what the story of hercules teaches us this is what the 12 labors of hercules teaches us and teaches me that before you criticize the world you must set your house in order by taking one meaningful small task every day whatever that means for you whether it's physical mental however it expresses itself you must step forward into that because the alternative is just it's chaos let's start this rule now